right, plan profile name boundary. This one's a little bit more detailed, a lot more stuff because you're creating actually a plan and a profile in one. Uh, we'll create it uh, again, a new 2D name boundary file. We'll attach the proper coordinate system. So this workflow is good. You're going to need this. You might want to take this PowerPoint and, and uh, print it out and have these papers around for you for the first couple times you do it. Uh, I know I'm going through the same thing, but this each each one of them is different. Now we're going to open the open uh, open the views view controls, and to do that you're going to right click in a blank area and you're going to pick the plan profile view, okay? And then we're going to place name boundaries using the civil uh, plan method, uh, and then we're going to use the actually it's a civil plan profile method, and then we'll use the plan profile selection. Yeah, that's what we're doing. And then we're going to place a name boundary using the civil profile method. Which that, yeah. And then we're going to create drawing and sheet models out of all that. Edit the drawing model, edit title sheet information, and that's it. So, what's the name boundary for these guys? Again, it's that plan one is from that first icon, but we change our drawing seed to that plan profile, plan view, and we'll place narrow kind of sheets out here for our plan. Okay, and again, we have that over overlap that's important with this plan. But now we're going to talk about profiles. It was the first time we've got to deal with the profiles. And I didn't do a full profile sheet one because we're doing it in the plan profile, and it's basically the same stuff. So um, in here we have uh, the 2D shapes uh, that represent the area to be used to profile sheet. The important thing about this one is, is we're going to get an option here. You're going to pick your, your drawing seed, which is that, plan profile profile view your detail scale will be 150 to match your plan and then you're going to come down here and don't worry about this name that, that's how many times i tested it before i got a good picture of it um so usually it's profile one when you start um the method you've got station range and you got from plan group and you want to use plan group here if you're doing plan profile because that's already out here you got your plan you want it to line up exactly with your plan so we'd pick that from plan group and then choose the 54 plan group It'll give a name of Route 54 proposed. Um, and let's see, there's a vertical exaggeration in here. And what we want to do with this vertical exaggeration is, hold on, I think I got a slide. I'll get to it in a second. <coughs> um, everything else is defaulted to be good, except for we want to make sure the active vertical is on. And that's pretty much good on that. Let's see if I go to the next screen. It's got that. OK, I guess I'm going through the whole thing again. Uh, select your scale, select your alignment, um, start stop station. You won't use that. Oh, that's for your plan. Yes, you will. You do all this for the plan. Sorry. And then you use the overlap option for the curves. Now the profile part, <clears throat> you'll pick that profile and you'll pick your, your profile plan profile view, your 50 scale or whatever scale you're using. And, the, and you'll select from the plan group to match the name boundary, which would be at 54. And here's where we set our vertical exaggeration. And really what you're doing is you're just removing a zero to get your vertical exaggeration. So for 20 foot, it would be two. For a 50 foot scale, you'd use a five and so on and so forth. 100 is 10 and 200 is 20. So you're just removing a zero to get your vertical exaggeration. So if it gets confusing, it's not really that confusing. Okay, and then use that active vertical to get the correct verticals and elevations. OK, so what we got here, Whoop, that's what it looks like. <laughs> you cut them and this is what it looks like. We'll get right into the live demo and go with it. You can see we got the uh, profiles down at the bottom and we got our um, plans at the top. What I got left. Oh, name boundary manager. We'll run this. We got our plan group. Got our profile group. And you'll see there's a linked profile groups. This tells me that this 54 plan group is linked to a profile group. And then Again, you delete it and the all important pencil with the squirrely line. And then this time when you pick 54 or the proposed uh, profile down here, when you pick them, you're going to get all these other icons to light up. So you could do plan sheets from this or you could do profile sheet from this one. But we want to do a create plan profile. So that'd be this one that has the uh, little red squirrely line. And then when we get to our dialogue, the left side, let me see if I say it, one sheet per DGN, 
we'll do that. So we'll do that and we just went through that with the plan sheet. And then you have the left side is your plan side. And in here you've got a plan scale you want to verify, make sure it matches what you set up, the one, the 50 foot. Um, and in here, I guess that model name is what we'd want to change to make sure we are, when we create this file, it picks that up. <clears throat> um, an open model, so you want to open that last model. So the profile side, we want to make sure that our profile scale is set up, which is at one inch equals 50. And then um, an annotation group. So again, if you didn't put it on there, you can always put it on later. But if you try to knock it out all at once, here's where you can do it. Just hit that annotation scale. Pick the one you want that matches your scale. Good. Plan profile sheet model. And here's the drawing model. So you can see in the sheet model, you got your profile on below. If you, I think we've got it with the minor, without the minor grids as well on that one. And our profile's above. So if you want to put your north arrow in there, you go to that drawing model to do it. And uh, whatnot, your notes for your profiles. And see drawing model. Yeah, this is where we edit everything. And then let's see other name boundaries. This is stuff that I didn't cover in this, but I've got videos for. We got the full profile and pro profile profile and a plan plan option as well. So those all work pretty similar. And I think that's all I got. We'll go to the uh, live demo and finish this up. OK. Let's see what we got. Um, I have, now that we've opened this file in here, we have to go back to where we were at. So we'll have to do a file open, browse. And then we're going to change from our traffic control folder where it brought us into. We want to go to roadway, data, and then we'll open up that, uh, let's see which last one we did, ORD, name boundary ORD. What I got in there planned? Yeah, we'll open that one up. We're just doing them all in one for right now because I've got files that are working. You know, I hate to create a brand new file. I have to go back and change those settings again. The data set will be uh, fixed by the next time we go out. We'll check in our changes. This should bring us back to that. file with the boundaries okay so in the workflow we said we had to set up the uh, we create a new file and we we uh, did our GCS it's already assigned and then the next uh, part of it was to open the profile and uh, profile view with the 2d view so to do that you just right click in a blank area and hold for a second go to your view controls and there's a plan profile view When you select it, it's going to give you a, a dialog. It says open dynamic profile view, uh, select OK to do it. So we'll hit the OK. We'll make sure that we're in that. It bombed on me. So we'll try it one more time. View control, plan profile. OK, I don't know if that. I don't know why it's not working. Let's try this again. OK, I'm going to have to create a new file. I wonder if it sees all these name boundaries in here. I'm going to delete these real quick and see what we got. Clean all those out of there. And when this happens, when you delete them and you still got the name boundaries, you just zoom in or out and they go away. They're just ghosted graphics that are still there. Another thing that I like to check is my save views. Well, first the models. So if I go to my home tab and check my models, yeah, I still got all these models in here that should have been deleted. So I could select them all and delete them. I'm hoping that's what the problem is. I'd hate to. And this is that DGN uh, workspace file. Check that in. Close that out. 
And then the last thing I'll check is that save view manager. There, it cleaned it up. That's good. So let's try this one more time. Close this out. It's not working. What? The? Chad, you see anything going on there? I don't see anything. Chad's in Kevin's office. Yeah, I don't see anything working here. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. This should do it. It's even giving me the OK, and I should be able to pick this, but you see it's not changing. My tool's not changing. This is where I would run the cleanup tool. Son of a biscuit. Maybe I should try that, I guess, huh? I'm going to try it real quick. We're running out of time, ain't I? Yes, you are. Well, you for me, you are. all but my time. You guys took my time. It says till, till four, so you're good. It, it just depends what everybody wants to do. Let's do, minimize that. Let's go here. You said 645 earlier, so. I did, didn't I? We're way ahead of schedule. My dog's over here breathing by me. Oh, that was me. Sorry. <laughs> no, it was really him. <laughs> Instructor, ORD. Not supposed to bring your dog to work. Just saying. Yeah. If I hadn't been around people that are sick, <laughs> which I'm feeling great. And you're around me every day, but I guess it's a different kind of sick, right? Oh, it is. It's a def definitely different kind of sick. Okay. Do, 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 do. What we got in here? Any chat going on in the thing? No? No, they've all left. Oh, they're gone. It's just me and you, really. It's us. <laughs> yeah. But I like what you're doing. You're yeah. Doing great. Where's it at? <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Taking. Yeah, because the plan profile part's the, probably the best part of it. Yeah, I was scared because I saw two cursors and I realized one was mine. <laughs> it ain't working. Ah, uh, shoot. Here we go. That's for default. I'm gonna close that out once it comes up. Okay, let's try this again. Right click, view control. Okay, looks like it's going to work this time. Look, I did locate the plan element. Now, the view. Sweet. Okay, so that worked. I, I can see I'm missing a level, so let me fix that real quick. Oh. Uh, I got to get these files fixed. OK, so we're good to go on this part. 2D, so what you want to do here is we're going to go back to our uh, drawing production. And we're going to go back to our name boundary. Name boundary tool again, and this time we're going to go to our plan like we did just earlier, and then we'll do a drawing seed of design D plan profile plan view. So open that up. We'll do a 50 scale. And at this point in time, we want to select, make sure your 2D window is the one that's uh, the default window. And then we go ahead and select that 54. And we can do our start location at the very beginning. And what I want to do is make that overlap. I'll do 75 again. It seemed like it was a lot more room. Once you get the dialog filled out like so, no, don't give it a stop location. Just give it the start and then an overlap. And don't mess with the length and the offsets for the plan. We don't want to do that. We'll go ahead and accept that start. And you can see it's going to want to place our different, what we used to call ports with our name boundaries. I'll just place three again. And then left click. And then you have to left click again. And there they have been placed. Okay. Now, the important part was not to have that create drawing on. If you had that on, it's going to process and go, and you don't want that. Now, we're going to do the profile. So to do this, we'll change our name boundary options to the civil profile. Let me make the, the 
view four active, make that my active view. Okay, my drawing seed that I'm going to use is the profile with the plan profile. Again, I'm going to match my plan to 50. And it defaults to station limits. We want to change that to plan group. And we want to match that 54. And it found it for us, so we're good. Okay. And then let's see, vertical exaggeration. Again, we're good on that. Everything looks good. And then all we have to do is <clears throat> come out and pick this profile. So make sure your, your view four is active and then select that profile. And when you do, it's going to place those three boundaries that match the three name boundaries for the plan. And then we'll just accept that. And they're placed in the file. OK, so it's easy as that just to place them out there. Now we use the name boundary manager to create the sheets. So we go back to that little button. And I'll open this up a little bit more. And you'll notice now we have a plan group of 54 and we have a profile group. If I open up 54 some more, you'll see it's got a link profile group, so we're good. To get these to process, we want to make sure we check on 54 or the proposed 54. Either way, it doesn't matter. One of those two has got to be selected. Again, we want that pencil with the little squiggly line on it. And then the option for this one is this little uh, red squiggly line, or you can right click and pick it from here as well. So if you have that icon selected, we're good. And we'll go ahead and hit the create plan profile drawing. It brings up a rather large box. Our mode is still plan and profile. We'll check on our one sheet per DGN. And then we'll path that out to a folder where we want to store them. <clears throat> and in this case, we'll go back to our plan sheet folder. And 04 is for our plan profile. Let me see if I'm in the right place. Yep, 04 plan profile. Hit OK. That's where it's going to dump them. Again, this top part looks good. Uh, I like that we changed the name and it worked, but for right now, just to get through the rest of this, we'll just leave it at the default. But we'll change our scales to match what we used 50 and 50. And the annotation group for our profile. We'll select and we'll open that up. We use a 50 scale on that one as well. OK. <clears throat> and then down here, everything set by the name boundary. We're good. Open model. We're good. And then all we'll have to do is select this and let it process. So all that should be set. We're good. And then we'll let that process bar go. And it's going to create brand new files out in that. 04 folder plan profile. And again, these files are standalone files that have two models in them. They have the drawing model and the sheet model. The drawing models where you do your modifications, your editing. Actually, this one will have three models. It'll have the plan, the profile, and then a sheet model. We'll update the server copy. And then we'll check it in, all the, all the changes. And I'm done with the name boundary, so I'll close it. And you can see what we got here. Now, again, like I was saying before, this 54 shouldn't be there, um, but you can get rid of it. So what we can do is we can go down to our, our view commands down here and change over to the that's the profile one so it's it's um you got a drawing for uh, the regular plan view and then you have a profile view so i'll go into that one uh, and then we'll go ahead and we can select this and just delete that piece of text it shouldn't be in there it, it gives us and what that text represents is the old feature definition that represents this information over here. So it came in. I went up and updated that part, but I didn't delete the old feature definition. So it's in there. So I'm going to make all new files when we're done with this or tomorrow. And then the plan view, you can go over here again and brings that up again. You can go through and add that north arrow. By changing that workflow. 
Yeah, but I don't know if they got that in here. I need to go to first get that. Uh, I want to get AccuDraw up and running because since I did the cleanup tool, who knows where it's at? So it's there. And in MoDOT and detailing standards, change it over to design. Graphic scales, north arrow. Oh, it looks like it's perfect. And you place that wherever you want it. Uh, and again, you can change your or add the uh, graphic scale. And then when you're finished, you can uh, go back to that sheet plan and look at it. And there they are. That out of the way. The other Beautiful. thing that Shannon was talking about before, too, was this, where we can remove the annotation and bring it back. Just like I did with the, um, well, this is element annotation. So we do uh, remove element. I don't think you can do that in here, can you? Nope, not not valuable for that tool. Yep, see, boom, we're done. Good job, it's Bill. It's just nice, ain't it? Got to kill it on the last thing. 